Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are going to set up a backdrop for St. Patrick's Day. I'm starting with my gold sequin fabric backdrop. So I'm only putting two panels here, making sure they're nice and even. And then I'll attach my 260 cue in the middle because that's where I'll attach my balloon garland. So I have some balloons already that I have left over from an event. I'm going to use them but add some more to that in order to create a nice full and beautiful backdrop so my plan is to make the garland somewhat taper down from the bottom to the top so the top is going to be pretty full and the very end on the right top corner there is going to be the thinner part so i'm just arranging the balloons onto this backdrop first i'm not attaching the side balloons coming down from the left i bought these shamrock balloons they're 11 inches qualitex just to add for the whole theme of the backdrop and of course you can see me all dressed up for saint patrick's day the hat doesn't fit well anymore because i got my hair done but i was determined to wear it for you guys so i hope you appreciate it i'm inflating some balloons to add to that left side like i said right now the balloon garland is only attached to the very top crossbar because i'm planning to raise up the whole backdrop by about another inch it's six, six sorry six feet tall right now and i'm going to raise it by one more foot to make it seven foot so now i'm adjusting so you can see what i'm doing down there i'm inflating more balloons to add to that left side making sure that I have one of the 17 inches these are tough text balloons I have one of the 17 inches for each quad and I'm alternating colors as well you see me talking in areas of the video my husband and kids just came in we talk all the time while we're away from each other but when we meet we still have things to talk about I think the only time we're not catching up is when we're sleeping so pardon me talking back and forth but i'm still inflating i'm still working these shamrock balloons come in two shades of green with the shamrock print on them so i'm working on adding that side of the balloon now this is saint patrick's day i know some of you who watch my videos do not celebrate saint patrick's day it's actually an irish holiday and a lot of people have adopted it and celebrated year round it's usually celebrated in march march 17th of every year and it's to remember saint patrick and his uh, the arrival of christianity to ireland so it also celebrates the irish heritage and their culture as well so i'm adding all this to the backdrop and I'm also trying to add some of the shamrock balloons so that it's spaced out throughout. Right now I'm inflating two pair, like a pair, so I'm making one shamrock and one a plain color so that I'll add it as accents to that garland that is going across the very top. So you'll see me add that later on. I'm going to attach them to my accent 5 inch clusters and use that to just fill the top part of the balloon i'm putting together the base left side of that garland and then you'll see me attach you see my hat keeps trying to pop off my head i'm just making adjustments so we're going to put this here and see how well we need to adjust so i have my five inch clusters on a rubber band and what i decide to do is just use this rubber band method to attach those two balloons with the quad onto the backdrop so what i do is just use it as though it was one piece of string like you would with a 260 q but then it's attached around the two balloons and around the five inch cluster so that's how i'm attaching this piece you haven't seen me do this method on this channel before usually i'll just 
have my quads and use the rubber bands to attach so before i raise the full backdrop i'm just putting these pieces onto the top making sure i'm spacing all the shamrock balloons out so it looks nice and even on the backdrop so i make adjustments as i go have to look back i'm adjusting the camera so you guys can see what it looks like so far and i'm trying to see what spaces i want to add so i'm inflating single shamrock balloons and just adding that to the garland as well i was talking about saint patrick's day another thing is the idea that people have added extra traditions to saint patrick's day right now i'm making the pole cover i think i'll link a video more detailed on how i make that but i use another extra gold sequin panel to make a pole cover so it'll cover the pole on that right side and it'll look a lot fuller as well on that right side you see me make adjustments with that throughout the video so you just hook that onto the pole and it stays in place doesn't go anywhere now i'm raising to seven feet tall so my pipe and drape kit on the lowest level is six feet so i'm raising it to seven feet and now i'm attaching my 260 cues on that left side so i can get that attached but first we'll adjust all the drapes make sure they look nice and even and spaced out where you're you're not seeing a separation in the middle you can't really tell but i'm making adjustments there and now we're going to attach our balloon on that left side balloon arrangements take so much readjusting because when you add some of the fillers it changes parts of your garland but my idea here is to have a full base and just make it nice and fun so i'm adding what i can all to the bottom and then i'll fill the bottom part as well and then we'll get to the accent and then we'll add some shamrocks now i had to look into the meaning of the the shamrocks for saint patrick's day it, it's also known as a three-leaf clover and it says it's i don't know how true this is but what i found was that saint patrick used it as an educational symbol to explain the holy trinity to unbelievers so the thought is that he introduced the non-believers to christianity in the fourth century can you believe how long ago that was so people have added other traditions to the whole saint patrick's day they've added leprechauns and gold and making wishes and drinking guinness which is a beer and so much a harp a candle and so much more and i didn't dig that far into the whole meaning but pretty much it's a holiday in ireland that celebrates saint patrick and the introduction of christianity to ireland so that's what i know hope you're enjoying the video so far if this is your first time tuning in thank you so much for watching my video thank you to those who have always watched i know sometimes this can be redundant but i want to make sure that you guys know that i truly appreciate you because it really supports this channel when you watch the videos when you subscribe and i appreciate you guys so much for that i love doing these videos i think it's fun to even dress up to match the backdrops that i make it makes it more fun for me and i hope you guys have as much fun watching the videos as well so if you're not subscribed yet to the channel please consider clicking that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that i post in the future it's coming up to be spring so this is kind of a break to introduce the spring season i have some fun videos coming up like a rainbow balloon garland i have a jungle themed garland coming up and i have the review of the shimmer wall as well that i'll be posting in the near future so stay tuned for that and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of the updates and you can also find me on instagram where i post some videos that i have coming up as well so 
If you have any questions or video ideas that you would like, please consider putting them in the comments below and I'll make sure to respond to you as soon as I see them. So I'm making some clusters here with the two shades of green and just filling up where you see any gaps on the balloon garland. So, and it just, <laughs> that one took forever to attach. So I decided to use a rubber band to hold that on. I couldn't pull that neck of that balloon to get it tied onto the cluster. So I have another cluster here. I'm just making adjustments so that gap is actually closed. And this one is going to go towards the bottom just with the rubber band and that fills that gap. Now let's make adjustments here to this balloon and we're close to being done. Hang in there. We still have our three leaf clover. I'm going to inflate them. These are foil balloons so you need 260 cues to attach them. I usually just cut one 260 Q in half and that allows me to attach the garland. I'm just going to place this on different areas of the backdrop just to add to the full St. Patrick's theme. Of course, St. Patrick's Day would not be complete without these shamrocks. So that's what I'm adding onto the garland and we are about done. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your sweet comments. Hope to see you guys again in the next video.